There's only so much we can choose for our lives. Seems like we have politics and society always telling us what to do, what to think, what to buy, what to be, what career to follow. For some people, there's a way to stand and do something for themselves. Life's most incredible miracle poisons us with its inevitable curse. Birth comes not alone, but with an irrefutable deal. Through the eyes of the serpent, we see the gift of our existence. Its representation of fertility hides beneath its skin a brutal poison, which can cure or kill. The strike of the serpent punctures our flesh, flooding our bodies with venom. Our eyes close. The lights dim. Chrysanthemums engulf us, petals fall gently touching our bones. After we are gone, only nature will remain. Roots grow through the middle of our skin, each flower feeding from us, born out of our being, and they also fade. The insuppressible cycle of life and death. A skull reminds us of our end, a temporary ship for ideas that can save or kill. We appropriate, change and make ours. There is no infinite, only an instant. Nothing is forever but time itself. Through art, we can understand our deepest fears, our morals, our mission on the universe, or rather the lack thereof. Death is human's biggest nemesis. The one fate we cannot avoid. Nothing illustrates this better than marking our body. Our vessel through this finite time. To embrace our ephemeral existence is our only choice. rise above it. Sometimes it might feel like unbearable. It's not your ego, it's nothing like that. But once it's done, you have a good feeling about yourself. And that pain was just in the moment. And now you're alive.